Glad you could join us on this fine morning. This is episode 5, I believe, so making some headway. And new Adventure Time episodes start today. All kinds of fun stuff. Well, depending on what day you're viewing this. So, last time we left off, the 1.1 update had just come out. And I kind of got stuck in the middle of doing things, and the texture pack was outdated, the MC patcher wasn't working, all that fun stuff. So I decided just to postpone completing the house, postpone doing basically anything for a while. So I had that like five minute video. That was episode four, which I apologize for. It was a it was way too short and uh, not really up to the same level of quality that it should be. So, back to this. Um, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do with this. And how, even after I get done with my third floor, which will probably be the last floor for the foreseeable future, I have some ideas about what I'm going to do to expand it. As you can see, I really haven't sorted out my food issue completely yet. I'm still stuck needing quite a bit more food. Uh, eventually I'll have a, a better farm up and running. Hopefully that won't be too far away. Because I need health and you know, I don't want to just have to run around without hunger. Now that'd be nice. I have to worry about it. Fortunately my mushrooms aren't growing ever it seems. Um, but anyways, let me make sure my okay. Hold on. Just want to make sure my sound is down all the way or down enough. Uh, so MC Patcher about that. I'm gonna mention some stuff. Well, actually, where am I? I'll, I'll talk about that while I'm finishing off some stuff. Um, MC Patcher. You know, it's a good, obviously a very good program if you've never used it before. Uh, helps HD texture packs kind of come to life. Uh, there's a couple different mods that come with MC Patcher by default, including better grass, which you can see. You can see how the, hold on, um, how the sides of some of the grass is grassy instead of just dirt. And that's MC Patcher. That's, that's the better grass mod that comes with it. Um... I've always really liked uh, HD texture packs more than default, more than you know the regular 16x16 16 16 texture packs. And this one, in case you didn't realize, is 32x32. 32 32. Uh, the last 32 one that I used was Mixcraft, and I used that for a long time. Mixcraft is really good. It's, it's pretty faithful to the whole Minecraft appearance. But it does some. Uh, it has some really nice points to it uh, that I really appreciate. How did I? Oh, there. And I definitely suggest that you give Mixcraft a, cry, a, a try uh, if you can. Uh, the other texture pack that I used for a long time was Azos Arid texture pack. It's not a complete texture pack, and unfortunately, I don't think it ever will be, just because. Oz is a bit lazy, if you ask me, and tends to make some bad decisions. And when I first downloaded the pack, it was amazing. I downloaded it amazing. It just it looked so good. It was uh, you know it was desert themed, and uh, I mean you just you would look out into a desert biome and just be shocked at how good it looked. And this game has or this texture pack has some good deserts in it too, not to detract from it, but. Uh, Oz's pack was definitely made for uh, the desert, and it had such good water and cobblestone. But anyways, uh, that was uh, 128 by 128. That was a long time ago that I used that. Uh, so yeah, I don't have my scissors anymore. 1.1 update's out now. As you know, bow enchantments are cool. They're probably my favorite part. Of 1.1, uh, there's 
I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> um, beyond that, obviously sheep finally are more usable than they were before, which is really nice. We can create rainbow colored farms and such. Uh, I toyed around with that in my main world a little bit, and I didn't really find any uh, system that I liked, and it looked like it was going to take a long time to set up. Unfortunately, we don't have any sheep on this land. In fact, we don't have any mobs at all. But I get the feeling that we're going to have to establish a new base over there or in some other direction. I'm not really sure. Hopefully, um, that doesn't become too big of a problem. And you, see, <laughs> you can see how distracted I am. I just walked all the way down there to get something. And then I walk all the way back up. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't grab what I was supposed to grab. Like an idiot. Uh, so, further. Let's see. We have a lot of stuff to build. A lot of stuff in, that I have in mind that I'm just waiting to get a little bit more set up. Make things look a little bit nicer. Lots of interesting things, I guess. I've always been a minecart fanatic myself. And I love messing with minecarts. I love messing with mob systems and that kind of thing. And I have some ideas about some stuff that I want to do with this world that I really haven't tried before. Or I've tried, and it didn't quite work out the way I expected it to, and I quit. But now I have a better grasp on what I want to do. Uh, eventually, we'll have to make Eyes of Ender, that sort of a thing. Do I even need this? Oh, hold on. Uh, find a stronghold, etc., etc. Really need to find an abandoned mine shaft because we need melons. Melons are so good. I think Etho said it in his latest video. He's just saying how they're so overpowered, which is weird to say for food, but I think he sort of hits the nail on the head with that one. Melons, even as soon as I started using them after uh, 1.8, I was just shocked at how amazing they were. It's so easy to just get tons and tons and tons of melons and basically never have food issues ever again because you have melons all the time. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's really, really good to have melons and, and as well pumpkins too, because they are a much cheaper alternative to glowstone. They don't look as nice, but, well, we'll see with this texture pack, because pumpkins in this pack are actually BMO, which is rather interesting and sort of odd. We'll have to see how that works out. Uh, but we can use the, uh, what are they called, the, the hatches, you know, where you put hatches over glowstone. You can do that in, in this pack, and the hatches don't have any holes in them, so it just looks like they're glowing pieces of blocks or something. Uh, we need stuff that we don't have. I don't know why I did that. Looked for some clay. There's a lot. There's a huge drop off right here, which if I jump down there, you wouldn't be able to see anything because water is so dark in this pack, and I know YouTube doesn't like dark things, which sounds racist, but it's, yeah, it's hard to see down there. <laughs> we'll need some, even with lights, I think it would still be dark. Hooray! Improving our structural integrity, even though we don't need to. We definitely need to go back into the caves, though. Because I'm running out of stuff. I need stuff. Stuff is good to have. I still want to transform this into a swimming pool or something, though. I think that would be hilarious. Or like a little spring. Make it all nice. But yeah, 
So the home is basically functional as it stands. I mean, it's not, we're not complete with it yet, obviously. We have a hole in the roof. But I think it's getting there, and, and this grass will hopefully turn out better than it is right now. I'll put more windows in. Certainly not done with that. And I have some plans to place towers. What I'll do is I'll, like I have these, uh, these bridges kind of running around. I'll have bridges shoot off to the side over to like another tower or something. And we'll put interesting stuff in there like an enchantment table or a potion area. Obviously that's a little bit off because we only have one diamond right now. So we're gonna need a lot more before we can start doing that. And I have to find a fortress and do all that fun stuff. So it's not quite yet. It'll probably be, hopefully, within the next five episodes, uh, we'll be a little bit closer to that. And still, my stuff isn't growing. I wonder if I'm. I wonder if it's too bright down here. Maybe if I knock out some of these lights. I'll try that. I guess. Well. I just don't want mobs to spawn down there, too. Like I said, down here, um, this needs to be expanded. I haven't been playing too much Minecraft lately. School and uh, Race for the Wool have been kind of on my mind. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim, too. Finally getting basically to the end game with my second character as well. And, you know, it's just. It's time consuming and I don't know, it's it's easy to sit down and play Skyrim and just have a ton of fun doing whatever it is. But it can be hard to sit down and play Minecraft and and, and do something, especially if you're not inspired. If you're not inspired while you're playing Minecraft then you're just doing it wrong. And I have a feeling that I'm getting less and less inspired. Uh, it depends though. There are days where I'll just I'll sit down and I'll be like yes, we're going to build this. But then I'll get halfway through building it and be like, oh, no, I don't even want this thing anymore. Uh, so, before we get too carried away and I spend the rest of the episode talking about random nonsense while walking back and forth between this house, uh, I want to well, get my smooth stone. I want to point out that um, well, things will be picking up really quickly here. Things are not going to... I mean, it's not going to stay this kind of monotonous right now because it's me building things and getting ready and all that nonsense that nobody really cares about that much. It won't be that way for very long. Very much longer, I should say. Because very, very soon we're going to be setting up some pretty important stuff. So here's the last, here's the last floor. Oh, I didn't go far enough. <sighs> they sigh. So this isn't far enough. And I'll probably be promoting this channel a bit more in a few episodes. Once I get to episode 10, actually. I've, I've thought about this before. Once I get to episode 10, I'm going to start promoting this. And by that, I simply mean I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to post it on Reddit, post it on the Minecraft forums, on the subsection that's built for it, um, post it on my Facebook, that kind of stuff, and be like, hey guys, I've got 10 episodes in. And, you know, I'd like your opinions, if I should continue, all that stuff. But right now, it's a lot of experimentation. Is this how I should be doing it? Is this, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Uh, really important stuff to know uh, for right now. Hopefully, I'll get some good feedback. You know, I don't want to just post this like right now with five episodes or whatever because I'm not giving people a good grasp of of how I'm going to handle things 
and I feel like it wouldn't be very good. It wouldn't be very uh, helpful, and any criticism I receive wouldn't be very uh, useful to me, I feel. And hopefully by doing this, I can get around that, you know, let people see a bit more of what's going on. So, oh, uh, what else is there? Um, so yeah, the house is almost done. Uh, let's see. I'm almost running out of things to talk about, and that's bad. <laughs> There's a little island out there. I've never really noticed that before. I guess it's because I'm getting higher up. And all that nonsense. I have like, I don't know how many viewers on my channel I have. Probably not that many. Oh well. But getting back to some 1.1 stuff. Obviously we got to build a sheep farm. Obviously we have to get bow enchantments, which are awesome. Even though, in my opinion, Infinity is, is a terrible enchantment. As long as you have a mob system. If you don't have a mob system, then Infinity is a great, great enchantment. But if you have one, then you probably don't need arrows. Honestly, it's... You know, you know it's like, okay, who, who cares? I mean, infinite arrows... Basically, on all of my worlds that have mob systems, I have infinite arrows. Because I'll, I'll probably never run out of arrows. In fact, I'll probably run out of string before I run out of arrows. Like, there's just not enough things to shoot with all the arrows that I have. More importantly, I think the other enchantments are just so much better. But I think, above all, the damage 5 enchantment is the best enchantment you can get on the boat. And the reason being, if you do get the damage 5 enchantment, you're basically one-shotting every single mob in the game. Or just about, anyways. Except for the Ender Dragon, I think. Like, one-shotting mobs is ridiculous. I shouldn't even have to describe to you, like, how how good that would be on a survival map. And it's just, it's absurd. Why did I... I'm trying to figure out why I recessed this... Hold on. I'm going to look at this again. Something is not right. Okay, here's this. This is one, two, three high. As opposed to... What, is this four high? One, two, three... No, this is three high. That's usually how high I make my, uh, my rooms. So if this is three high... Oh, then I just went up an extra floor with my railing. One. I was only supposed to go up one? I thought I went up two over here. No, I only went up... Oh, okay, I see. Okay. We'll have to repair that later. No, it's not, a, it's not like a big deal, though. I'm not too worried about it. I'll build an axe and tear it up. Uh, so, yeah, this is coming together quite nicely. But I want to take a break from this. I'll build this... Or I'll finish it up off-camera so I don't have to leave you guys here wondering what the heck's going on and all that nonsense. In the meantime... We need to find stuff. And by stuff, I mean stuff. Like the good stuff. Like the really good stuff. Uh, we need some cobblestone. Let me put those back. Probably more cobblestone. Uh, iron pick, stone pick. Probably want a second stone pick. Maybe even a third. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to go look for... Mobs. But not just any mobs. Mobs in... Some... Hopefully nearby areas. I know there's caverns around here. And I'm just... I can't imagine that this is all there is to this cave system. I hate it when you get to a cave system and it just kind of stalls out on you. Or it's like, okay, that's that's the end of the cave system now. Obviously, it, it, it isn't, or it shouldn't be. 
but somehow it is. Man, I am a boss at this game. Give me a second. Okay, we're on easy, but we'll switch to normal. I forgot I was on easy. But, make sure we change before we run into any mobs, and it's all good. This is a ravine. <laughs> I seriously didn't know this was here. I know that looked kind of fake. You just dig through one block randomly. <laughs> this is hilarious. I had no idea. Uh, yeah, look at all this stuff. We're going to need lots of torches. I don't think I could have got any luck here with that. Da -da -da -da. Lots of water, lots of stuff like that. It's per usual. Didn't surprise me that much. Some gold. And some redstone. Let's see if we're gonna need gold at some point. And redstone's always useful, even though we've already got a ton of it. So let's see what else is over here. Good, there's a cave system attached. Or, sort of, I guess. Not really what I was looking for, but I guess it's okay. Oh, no, there's a cave system in here. I don't know if you guys can see it quite yet. Man, this is nice. I'm just sealing up some of the areas and such. Uh, I'll probably explore this off camera do all that nonsense because I don't think you guys want to watch me cave for however long. And then we'll do a summary of what we found after that. So meet up with you guys probably back on the surface. Well, I found some Endermen, which are the skeletal looking guys. I'm not really sure where they're from or what episode they're from. Got some dirt blocks, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but we're gonna kill them because we need ender pearls. So, and then make their train whistle sounds. Cool. Ender pearls, nice. And of course, we have some diamond. Let's see how much we got. Probably one diamond, just like before. Nope, it's more. Whew. Good, we finally have a nice amount of diamonds. Make a pick, we can make an enchanting table. I know we can't. Because we only have five diamonds. We need three to make a pick. Oh, they sigh, they sigh. We need one more diamond before we can make an enchantment table and enchant stuff. Not that we have a whole lot of things to enchant without a spider system or any kind of mob system, actually. It's kind of pointless to build one right now. Hopefully that'll change. I know in one of my other worlds I actually use a regular mob system to fuel my enchantments. And I just have them funnel down. All the mobs funnel down into like a one by one area. And then I uh, just run it off of that. It's not as effective as a spider system. You can't have as many mobs stored up. Or actually any system that uses a mob spawner. Uh, it's just... It's a little bit harder to do, unfortunately. Um, but the, the upside to that is that you're getting better items. Oh, jeez. When I saw that, I thought it was a blaze for a second. Um, crap. I gotta head back because I don't have any food. Uh, meet you guys some other time. Looks like this episode's dragging on a little bit. 
We got a new moon. And my food is all the way gone. I don't have enough wheat to refill it, so I'm going to be stuck without much health. Uh, to recap, found four diamonds, some redstone, 13 gold, four, what is it, 44 iron, two ender pearls. We got some arrows from some mobs, and we also got bones. So hopefully I'll be able to fix my food situation by using bones on some uh, mushrooms. So, uh, until next time then.